everybody. Welcome to the channel again. Uh, really excited to talk to Juliana Larson. Juliana is an early bird in the villages and uh, is here today to talk about her experience with the villages and her plans moving forward. So welcome to the channel, Juliana. Thank you. Ah, so I understand that you're also a caregiver. So your mom is with you today and uh, she's off to the side a little bit, but you're, you're there caregiving and uh, there she is. <laughs> there she is. Hello, mom. How are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Great. And as well as caregiving for your mom, you're also a teacher. Yes. Where, where are you a teacher? I teach in uh, Washington State in a district called Ferndale. Okay. And your husband's a teacher too? Yes, actually at the same school. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often, does it? That you you have a husband wife team at a school they usually they try to keep you separate I think right yeah yeah we've been really fortunate it's a it's a nice district to work for awesome that's great so you um are in Washington state you're a teacher you're a caregiver for your mom and you also own a house in the villages so let's talk a little bit about that how did that come to be that you own a house in the villages um, well, my father-in-law and his girlfriend bought in 2005 and the stories they told about all the fun activities they do, all the clubs they're in, um, it sounded really appealing. And my husband and I, you know, we feel like being active is kind of like the key to longevity. Right. So we felt like with all the activities, we're not going to be bored. We're going to be busy and we're not going to like you know, be stagnating and, and letting our health decline. So, and we also really liked the idea. Um, my father-in-law was sharing just the sense of community right. within their neighborhood and within their clubs and within the villages overall. It's like, everybody looks out for everyone. And I've seen that too, just in the short time that we've owned. Yeah. You've got some wonderful neighbors. You said, so you ended up buying in January of 2022, which was right sort of during COVID times, even though it seems so bizarre to be talking about COVID now, but that was right during COVID. How did that happen? Did you end up doing a lifestyle visit or? Yeah, that's what worked. Okay. We did a lifestyle tour and our realtor showed us around to the different um, houses. Um, the, the tricky part though was like, if we saw a house we liked, um, we had to jump on it right away. Otherwise we would like, I don't know how many houses they showed us that um, fell through because somebody beat us to it. Right. And so we bought our house in the hammock at Fenny sight unseen. Wow. Um, our amazing realtor and his partner came in and took pictures of this, of all these different houses that kept coming up and sending it to me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want that one. And so the partner, she would put in um, a hold or whatever that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, the last one she had held for us, like she said, we lost it by three seconds. Oh my goodness. So the next one she found, the one we bought, um, she didn't send me pictures. She just put a hold on it. And then she sent me the pictures right away. She said, I have a three hour hold on this. I need to know, do you want this? And I'm like, yes. That's so, pretty nerve wracking eh? when you got that three hour window to make a decision on a house. Yes. And it was during when I was teaching. So luckily I saw the text that she sent me like before school started. So I didn't have students so I could say yes. And I ran upstairs to my husband's classroom and I said, okay, Nancy put a hold on a house. Uh, do you want to do it? And he's like, yeah, let's do it. So <laughs> but we were, um, I was out looking at open houses with my realtor in July of 2021, when we purchased and we rolled up to a house that because we had lost out on this, you know, a number of houses just like you had. And we rolled up to this house and there were already like three other couples there. And our realtor put a hold on it before we walked in the door, just so that we could, you know, have a chance at getting the home at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good realtor, good, good realtor move. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, so you're at Hammock of Fenny. And your plan is to eventually be down in the villages. But in the meantime, you're doing short-term rentals and long-term rentals. And it's interesting when we were talking before we started the recording, you said that a couple of people that have rented your house have actually purchased homes at the villages or are in the process of looking for homes in the villages. Yes. So a little bit about that, because I know that as renters, sometimes landlords get a, a bad name for 
for just sort of being cash hungry and, and looking in their own best interest. But the reality is that a lot of our renters that are coming into the homes that we own are actually there looking to purchase in the villages, right? And you found that the same way. You The last person you had, you said, um, had already purchased and they were waiting for it to close, I think. Yes. Yeah, so the ones that are, are current, um, the ones that are moving in next week are um, having their house built. Um, the ones that had just moved out in April, they were on the search for a house and they did find one and are all moved into their new place in Chitty Chatty. Wow, that's fabulous. So yeah. it's sort of like an extended lifestyle visit for some of these people then, right? Yeah. Because they get down for a week and they go, oh, we got to go back. And then they end up booking your house for a month or six weeks or eight weeks, whatever it might be, in order for them to get a better idea of what the village is all about and where they want to land. Yeah. Yeah. You said that you were not looking to be in the villages for a number of years, probably between five and nine years. Is that based on you've got kids at home, you've got jobs, that type of thing? Yeah, um, right now we'll we'll have one, well, actually two kids at home because my um, college daughter is moving back home to finish um, her college. Um, our 18-year-old is enlisted in the Navy, so he'll be wow. out of the house. But our youngest is 14, and he still has high school. So that, at the bare minimum, we'll have like four or five more years until he's done with school. Um, but realistically, we probably have about nine years. Yeah, that makes sense. So why did you feel that you, it was necessary to buy now then rather than wait till you had actually got to that point? Well, we, we made the decision to wait. When we went out in our lifestyle tour back in the midst of COVID in 2020, there were some houses that were interesting to us. But at the time, we thought, well, at the time, our daughter was um, looking at colleges and we were deciding maybe we should wait and see what college tuition looks like and then buy. And as soon as we got back from our week long lifestyle tour, I was looking at some of the houses and the prices had jumped quite a bit. Right. And then um, after we got my daughter settled in college and everything, and we were looking at our finances and we were like, OK, let's do it. I was shocked at how much more the prices jumped up from the last time they jumped up. So it's like, we need to get on it now before we can't afford it. Yeah, and I think some of that was supply and demand, but a lot of it was um, just the cost of goods had risen so much, right? So it was being pushed back down to the buyers because plywood was up, lumber was up, all the goods were up. So they had increased costs and that's why the home prices went up. Um, one of the things I talk about with landlords all the time is that, not to wait until you're retired to buy a house because your purchasing power is much better when you have a job you can apply for a mortgage you can apply for financing and get into the market so it sounds like with you and your husband both working as teachers the time was to purchase when you could show income and get a house and then rent it out until you're ready is that sort of the goal yes yeah yeah, sounds that was the same with us. We, you know, we had both had jobs and we wanted to get into the Florida market, but we didn't want to wait until we had no income because then it's more difficult to purchase. So right now you're doing short term rental, long term rental, but in between like three and six months, you're not doing full one year rentals at this time. No, and I found that um, a lot of the people looking for like year long rentals are looking for unfurnished. And ours is fully furnished. And in hindsight, you know, maybe I would have just held off on on buying furniture and just offering it for um, long term. But you know, live and learn. Yeah, but, for sure. But, yeah, but if I hadn't done if if I had done that, then I wouldn't have been able to meet our um, fantastic tenants that had just bought in Chitty Chatty, who are amazing, and I feel like we made some friends. Yeah. And, and the other thing about doing shorter term rentals is that it gives you the opportunity to use the home when you want to. You can block off that time. Like you said, you're going down for Christmas to visit. If it was a long term rental, you wouldn't have that opportunity. Right. Right. So that's cool. So you got another five to nine years before you're down there full time. I bet you're looking forward to that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the, the school system for both of you and actually start living a, a life that you want to live. 
Yeah, we got a little taste of it last summer when we drove down with the family. Um, just all the neighbors are so friendly. And um, I took a couple, well, I took a, a hula class that I loved and I'm looking forward to getting back to and playing poolside bingo. There's just so many fun activities to do. So I'm like excited about, Absolutely. you know, all I'll play and no work. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's great. Cool. Well, I really want to thank you for joining us today. I know that it's important for me to sort of put some humanity into who a landlord is and, and their goal is eventually to be a uh, resident of the villages. So we thank you for coming on and sharing your story and we wish you success in the next five, six, seven years. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Okay. Take care. Thanks. You too.